Right now, bargaining teams representing teachers and staff on strike in Sacramento have wrapped up their negotiations for the night with the Sacramento City Unified School District with no agreement so far. This is what it looked like from outside the Cerna Center earlier tonight. A source at CT uh, SCTA, that is, tells us Superintendent Jorge Aguilar did meet with them, and we're hearing you talk to negotiators for about 10 minutes in person. But again, no breakthroughs came from that, and schools will be closed for a seventh day tomorrow. Here's an overview of the district's current proposal to the union that represents teachers. 100% health coverage through Kaiser, an ongoing 3% salary increase each year. An earlier offer had included a 2% increase, a 3% one-time stipend for this school year, a $3,000 signing bonus for new employees, three days of paid professional training for next year, and an increase in pay for substitute teachers. The two unions started striking a week ago today. Without those workers, schools have been closed. Teachers and staff say they want to reach a deal soon. It seems like the district is digging in their heels and I think they're gonna see how long we can actually stay out here. We're available, we're serious about it. Um, you know, it's like easier to make someone wait when you're sitting at Zoom and you know, everybody's in their own location. So they were hoping to add pressure by rallying at the district office in person. As you heard, negotiations had been taking place virtually. For students who need extra help in the classroom, this ongoing strike is having a direct impact on their progress. KCRA 3's Brittany Hope is live at the Sac City Unified Headquarters. So Brittany, what are you hearing from parents tonight? It's really just been an uphill battle getting those resources. In fact, the U.S. Department of Education released a study on this last year, and they say that the pandemic has caused really big disruptions to students' education, specifically students who do have disabilities. And we know that the services schools do provide can really help in their growth. So tonight, parents here in Sacramento tell us they feel like they have whiplash. They're not really sure what this strike could mean for their kids in the long term. Joel has three coins in his pockets. It's not happy memories. The Gomez family's dining room becoming a classroom. Thomas Edison, Walt Disney. Once more. I think that we've been here before and I uh, hoping it's not a long time that we're here again. Erin Gomez has two Sac City Unified students. Her son is part of the district's individualized education program. With Colton having an IEP and having um, resources that he gets at school that now he's not getting, that's been more of a challenge. She fears he's falling even more behind after COVID shut down schools, again without services like his speech therapy that he usually gets twice a week. He also has 180 minutes a week with the resource teacher. Um, at our school, we were without a resource teacher from February to November, and now we have one resource teacher for the entire school. The family has relatives in the district who are substitute teachers, so they support the strike. What's most important is these teachers aren't able to do what they want to do, um, especially with, with kids like Colton that need that the extra help. Across Sacramento, Five, seven, eight. Becky Bosman is concerned for her first grader. Goodbye. Oh. As schools wow. remain closed. Drew has Down syndrome, so he's included in general ed as a part of his IEP, but he does have a push in full time aid. And then he also receives some special services, and we're not getting any of that as a result of the strike. Extra help he needs. Fact is, I'm angry. Like, I'm mad. I'm angry at people wanting to duke out their differences at the expense of having our kids in school. For now, Becky and her husband are working on ways to keep up with Drew's spelling and occupational therapy skills at home. For now, it's their only choice. If there's one thing having a kid with a disability teaches me, it's what's important in our lives. And we will find a way through this. We will be resilient. That's what he teaches us every day. Absolutely an uncertain time for so many. Back out here live, you're looking at the second floor of district headquarters. We just saw a bunch of teachers, negotiators, and parents trickle out of the building. Again, we just got confirmation. I've been texting back and forth with the head of the teachers union. He says negotiations are done for the night and there was no agreement made. So again, that means there will be no school tomorrow. Uh, the message is they will all be back out here again early tomorrow morning. We're live in Sacramento, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News.
Brittany, thanks. And heading into a seventh day with no school, here's an indication of how much parents are needing help. A group called Athletes in Action teamed up with Fremont Presbyterian Church to offer a free, basically a day camp for Sac City families who need support right now. They had 125 spots available and they all filled up in less than an hour. Right now they're considering adding more coaches because they know more families need that help.